Hey guys, it's Sammy Son here. I uh, wanted to show you guys today how I make tuna salsa. Now, tuna salsa is kind of a, a unique dish that I kind of made when I moved here just out of uh, sheer curiosity, and it's kind of evolved uh, since I first made it. So, uh, the basic ingredients that you need a bowl and a spoon, that's pretty basic, tuna fish, of course, and salsa. And uh, I use generic salad dressing, which is basically like generic Miracle Whip. If you like mayo, then use that too, but I'm not a big fan of mayo. But yeah, like like I said, the uh, ingredients have evolved since just the basic premise of tuna, salsa, and uh, Miracle Whip. I've added several other ingredients like tortilla chips, but I add really finely crushed up tortilla chips and uh, A1 steak sauce. Steak sauce on tuna? What? It works, trust me. Especially the new bold and spicy flavor. That's just fucking awesome. I added this Sweet Baby Ray's uh, Raspberry Chipotle. Just because I'm trying to get rid of it because I don't really like the taste. But if you add it, you cannot taste it. I promise you. What I'm going to be doing today, or at least attempting to do today, is I'll show you how I make it. So, that's the ingredients. And uh, here's how to make it. Basically, what you want to do uh, to start off with is get a good amount of uh, tortilla chips. Don't be intimidated by the large amount that I use. They'll be all finally crushed up later. It may look like a lot, but crushed up, trust me, it's not that much. About a bowl full of uh, tortilla chips, but not overflowing. And basically what you want to do is you take a spoon and you line it with your thumb, then you use your other hand to kind of block the debris that's you know, coming out when you're crushing them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, crush them up and uh, then continue with step two. Okay, so here's the bowl. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to cover it with your hand. And you're going to take this with your thumb and just kind of crush it. And you're using the hand to kind of keep all the debris and stuff inside so you don't get crumbs all over your bed. Or table. I just choose to make it on my bed because I'm fucking weird. Okay, so basically, remember that big whole uh, bowl of tortillas? Well, that's how big it is when it's all crushed down. See? Not that big. And roughly about that deep. Like I said, don't be intimidated by it. And uh, now that we've got that done, we're going to add the other ingredients. Now, what I like to do first is... Uh, add the salad dressing because since I live by myself I don't really give a crap if there's a little bit of a salsa in it but if you're living with other people or your family and they might not care for it so what I'd like to do is add the uh, Miracle Whip first and I like to use about just two fairly generous chunks oh, that one was kind of crappy let's add a little mini chunk in there so you get about that much in there which some people might be like rock me diabetes no wonder you're so fat yeah that's one little uh cabbage i have yeah after that's done let me just pretty much set the spoon in there like that next i'll be adding the salsa and what i like to do is i like to get the generic salsa not because i can't afford like tostitos or whatever but i find that the salsa from walmart is really nice and thick it's not all like watery like the other salsas it may not taste quite as good as you know tostitos or whatever but it definitely makes up up for it in its uh, thickness so you don't have to worry about you know a watery sandwich just add Fairly generous portion. Um, it's usually a bit smaller than this, but um, if you can see that, the little black spots the salsa. And once again, apologize for the poor lighting conditions. But you've added that, that way. Next up is the uh, Sweet Baby Rays. And uh, I originally got this as kind of an experiment just because it's a new flavor, but I don't know. I was thinking, you know, raspberry, chipotle, I love both those things, but it didn't quite paint out for me. Not to say that's bad, it's just not to my taste. But thankfully, because of all the uh, salsa and later on the uh, steak sauce, I won't be able to taste it at all. So I'm basically just getting rid of it at this point. This is a crucial ingredient, almost as crucial as the salsa itself. A1 steak sauce. I shit you not, this is probably the best thing you'll ever eat with tuna, ever. Yes, that important. <laughs> Put in just enough to kind of cover the little pile of salsa, or just to taste. I mean, I like the steak sauce flavor, but some people might only want a little bit of it. Let's see if I can get better light in there. Okay. Okay, so you can see the darker portions are the steak sauce with a little bit of the chipotle in there. The redder portions are the salsa, and a little bit of light here is the uh, Miracle Whip, and you can see a little bit of chips in there. So basically what we're going to be doing is uh, draining some tuna, putting it in there, and uh, mixing it up. So... I will go do that. Follow me out here. You can already tell this video is going to be edited like a motherfucker. That's the one thing that's kind of bad about having a San Jose is that you can't really stand it up right. This is the pretty boy. Yeah, I think I need to buy my own 
can opener. Yeah, I basically just, you know, cut the can. I'm using the lid to kind of get all the juices and crap out. As you can see there, it's the juices coming out. Nothing too original here. I thought I'd just show it because, you know, kids might not know how to properly do tuna or whatever, so. Might seem, you know, dumb to, you know, older people like myself or much older people than myself. But, you know, some kids don't even know how to use a can opener. I mean, I, I had to learn how to use a can opener at one point, so definitely have some sympathy there. Yeah, get the tuna nice and cleaned. Put my hands off so my camera doesn't smell like fucking fish. But it will. I didn't wipe it all off, damn it. Oh no, my face is dark. And now it's light again. After we've done that, I'm gonna prop you up here again. Add the tuna to it. Now I'm gonna go throw it away as can, so I'll bring it back. A nice Dr. Pepper. If you can see that there, nice Dr. Pepper. And basically what we're gonna be doing uh, is just mixing it up. See, it's all kind of globby and gross right now. See? Doesn't that look appetizing? They just basically mix it up. So, we'll be doing that. How much oxygen do I have to check? Sorry, I got this little thing from uh, Team Four Stars, DBZ a bridge stuck in my head when uh, Piccolo is charging his uh, special beam cannon. He does like the Menomina song. <laughs> so it's like da 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 I'm charging my attack. You guys gotta see that show, it's fucking hilarious. Um, the original Team Four Star account has been uh, suspended or whatever, so they got a new one. I'll put the link up in the sidebar. Check that out, totally watch your day go away. <laughs> but it'll be for a good cause. Ten episodes of pure hilarity. One of them is a three-parter, so it would technically be like uh, 13 episodes, but whatever. Okay, and here is the finished product. But uh does not look appetizing. And basically, just like with tuna fish, you just use it to spread on um, pieces of bread and you just eat it. Pretty gosh darn simple. So, yeah, if you guys will excuse me, I'm going to dine on tuna salsa. This is the Andy-san, signing off for now. Hoping you guys have an excellent day. Bye now.